Hey, this is Attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and today we're going to talk about whether your LLC needs a DBA. So, if you have an LLC, a limited liability company, you may be wondering, does DBA stuff still apply to you? So, a DBA or doing business as registration, which in some states is called a trade name registration, in some states is called fictitious business name registration, is when you're doing business with a name that's not the legal name of your business. Typically, people think of it as if they open up a business that's just a sole proprietorship and the business is just them. It's their name. And then they have some kind of name that they use for marketing. Then they get a DBA on that marketing name. So that market, my name is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If I had a life coaching business called Awesome Life Coaching, that would be the DBA. It's not, which is not a very good name, but that would be the DBA. So do you need to do that also for LLCs? And the answer is yes, if the same thing applies. So if the name of your LLC is not exactly the same as the name that you use in your business, then you need to get a DBA or FBN or trade name registration, whatever it is in your state, if that's required by your state at all. And I say that because some states don't actually even have this at all. So you need to find out, does your state even have DBAs and FBNs and trade name registrations at all? Assuming they do, that's where you draw the line is, does the name match up? Now for people who are have a sole proprietorship, if you use your name in the business, in some states, it depends on how much of your name you're using. And in some states you have to use your entire name but then you don't have to do the DBA. So for example, in California, my name's Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. Weinstein's my last name. And if I had a business called Weinstein Life Coaching, I technically would not have to get a DBA. Now I actually would get one anyway, be for various reasons that we'll talk about in a little bit, but I wouldn't legally have to. However, in some other states, I think I looked this up recently for Minnesota, you have to have your full name. So it would have to be Elizabeth Weinstein or Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. Potts is my middle name, so that wouldn't have to be included, but it'd have to have my full name, Life Coaching, for me to not need a DBA. Now, if it's an LLC, it's a little bit different. Even in California, you have to use the whole name. So if the legal name of the business is Weinstein Life Coaching LLC, that's what was filed in the forms of the state, I have to use Weinstein Life Coaching LLC in the business marketing and contracts and stuff like that for me to not have to file a DBA. Now I'm not saying that has to be like everything, like it doesn't have to be like your domain name, but you would want it, you know, on your, well, do people have letterhead or business cards anymore? But if you had letterhead or business cards on that, it needs to be in your contracts, which it should be in your contracts anyway. It's a whole other thing. And it would need to be on your website. Okay. Now I think that it actually makes a lot of sense to do a DBA or FBN anyway, even if you might not need to. So let me give you an example. Let's say this Weinstein Life Coaching LLC. I may want to get a DBA on Weinstein Life Coaching because I don't want to have to put the LLC everywhere. And getting a DBA is a tiny bit of a hassle you have to do once, but it's not that big of a deal. And then it's done and it's good for five years, at least in California. I think every state has some kind of renewal process you have to do that's going to have its own rules, but that's good for years. And it can make a lot of sense to get that done to save hassle later. Because, you know, one of the things I mentioned earlier that I wanted to talk about is if you have both the LLC name and the DBA name registered, then if someone writes you a check, which I don't know if anyone writes checks anymore, but they did and they left the LLC off, that's fine because that DBA name will be on your bank account. It can be showing up on the merchant account as that name and not just with the LLC. It kind of covers you if you run into any problems with someone leaving the LLC off or if you leave the LLC off. I highly recommend that if you're wishy-washy about whether or not you need a DBA, just go ahead and do it because then you're covered if anyone debates it later. We don't want someone to be confused about who they're doing business with. We don't want someone to accuse you of being fraudulent if because they couldn't figure out how they were doing business with. We want everything on the up and up. So if you might leave the LLC off when you're doing business sometimes, just go ahead and get the DBA and then you don't have to worry about it later. Again, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll try to point you in the right direction. Thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this. And if you'd like more connection, you can join the Patreon or the Discord. Links are below. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.